Hi, I'm Marlon with the Strap Warehouse. Today I want to talk about the exciting subject of brake strength and why it's so important when you're making finished products with Biothane. The definition of brake strength. So exciting. The definition of brake strength is the resistance of a material to braking under tension. Really? So what does this really mean? It means that the strap will break after a certain amount of force is exerted on it. So when you're making products, you want the failure point to be your hardware and never your webbing. That's why we use biothane because it is really strong. So how do you know the brake strength of the biothane webbing? Well, biothane publishes minimum brake strengths for all of their products. Keep in mind that this brake strength is before you punch any holes, sew, or set rivets in the webbing. Here are the published brake strengths that Biothane has put out. And this is the exciting part. B05 is 400 pounds per inch of width. B07 is 600 pounds per inch of width. B10 is 1,000 pounds per inch of width. B20 is 2,000 pounds per inch of width and B30 is 3,000 pounds per inch of width. Now the coated rope, the quarter inch coated rope is 500 pounds and the 5 16 coated rope is 800 pounds. The products that pertain mostly to what my customers buy are the B07, which is the adjustable, and the B10, which is most of the biothane, both beta and gold, that we sell. We have the brake strength listed in the description on every page. A common misconception is that the coating changes the brake strength, and it does not. The coating is just a protective layer for the webbing. So beta standard and beta super heavy, gold high flex, gold standard, they're all made with the B10 webbing. So even though they have different thicknesses of coating, they all have exactly the same brake strength of 1,000 pounds per inch of width. This all sounds great, but how can you trust that Biothane is publishing accurate brake strength information? Biothane has two in-house labs with three machines that can test to many ASTM standards. I need to read this next part to you, So I usually fall asleep when I'm trying to read this. Biothane's most common tensile strength ASTM test methods are ASTM D6775-02, standard test method for breaking strength and elongation of textile webbing, tape and braided material, and ASTM D5035, breaking strength and elongation of textile fabrics. I hope you're still awake. These tests can be replicated by any lab that knows how to test to ASTM standards. I hope you found this information helpful, and if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. I'm Marlon with the Strap Warehouse, and remember, better is possible.